I'm not one who follows every episode of the Adventure Time show on Cartoon Network, but I've seen some bits and pieces and I like the zaniness that oozes. So I was semi-interested when a brand new Adventure Time game was announced to be coming out with WayForward as the developer. After coming off a mildly receptive Adventure Time game on the 3DS, D3 publisher picked up WayForward to develop a second title taking place in the same universe, but with different gameplay. Coming to greet us this time is Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. And although the name of the game is amusing, I don't know why you would play this game. It's pretty bad. The core premise of this title is that Princess Bubblegum has recruited Jake, Finn, and others to explore the dungeon below the land of Ooh because prisoners are escaping and you don't know why. What you'll come to find is a slow, boring, repetitive game as you are assigned to crawl through 100 randomly generated floors of somewhat boring landscapes that don't really change in significant ways to keep things actually interesting. Most of the game consists of running to find the stairs to the next floor or find the right switch that opens the stairs, with enemies that you can practically just run past without receiving a scratch and there is no experience to gain from them. The difficult the difficulty doesn't ramp up significantly until the final 10 floors, where you'll actually have to take your time and make wise choices because you will probably die. A lot. But besides that, you have about 90 floors of what is the epitome of boring. At least every 10th floor culminates in a boss fight that breaks up the monotony and brings out some variety and uniqueness. One of the more interesting parts about Explore the Dungeon is that there are multiple playable characters to choose from and unlock throughout. They each have their own unique abilities, special powers, and stats. Because of just how slow the game actually is, I would recommend choosing a character that flies since they can clear gaps and you don't have to worry about taking the long walk around them. If you do choose a ground based character, there are these pendants that you find in the dungeon called tokens that you then can equip to your character to give them extra abilities. So there is actually one that allows grounded characters to walk over treacherous gaps. There are a lot of these tokens for you to choose from and it allows you to strategize to fit your particular needs, so that's a neat feature. After every fifth floor, you'll be allowed to return to the surface and spend all the gold you accumulated during your spelunking. Since there are no experience points, you use the gold to upgrade your stats, such as your health and strength, by talking to characters on the main hub. The only downside is that once you jump back into the dungeon, you lose all the gold you earned, and considering how expensive the upgrades can be, this can be a little annoying. At least you can take on quests from various NPCs in the hub, and once completed, you may just earn a coupon for a free upgraded stat, so that's pretty helpful. Visually, Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon Because I Don't Know doesn't look half bad. I thought that the pixel art was pretty well done, and I like how there's a mix between pixel art and the pseudo 3D environments, and at least the theme of the dungeon floors will change every now and then to keep things from becoming too stale. One of my favorite parts about this game is the voice work. It is actually really well done since they got the cartoon's original voice actors to reprise their roles as their respected characters. They really captured the wackiness of the show in the dialogue and it even made me chuckle inside from hearing it, making it definitely a highlight for the title. The only problem is that the cutscenes are really watered down, playing on a tiny area of the screen and lacking fluid animation. Plus, the characters will mutter their particular catchphrases non-stop while dungeon crawling. Explore the Dungeon does take a number of hours to complete, but you won't have the greatest of time as the game is really repetitive and never really changes in any significant way throughout the 100 floors. The only reason why I would recommend this game to someone was if they were a die-hard Adventure Time fan, because it's said to feature a big reveal that is supposed to carry over into the show. Plus, you get to learn Princess Bubblegum's age. Other than that, that is really the only incentive, as this game is definitely skippable and the money can be spent on something more worthwhile. So in all, the GamingPixelShow.com is awarding Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know with a 2 out of 5. But that will bring us to the end of this review, and if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more video reviews, news videos, and nasty Nintendo crazy episodes. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!